Hey YouTube, Morganville here again. Um, like my last video said, I'm going to show everybody today how to make a background for their iPods. Uh, I'm using an iTouch. You can use any iPod as long as you have a clear case. So let me show you what I was doing. I cut the backgrounds out of magazines that I like, pictures. So this is my case, and I take the this is my magazine, and here's my clear case. And it fits snugly over the back. Now I touch. So, uh, I'm browsing through some of my magazines. I read Alternative Press for music. These are just some of uh, the few I have of my collection. It's like mad huge, so they're over in my bookcase. You can kind of see a little bit of it. It's like black in the background <laughs> over here. So, uh, this is the newest edition, and I pulled uh, a picture out of this one. I couldn't really find much out of the new edition that I like, so I'm going to use this picture. It's a picture of, like, earring plugs and for gauge gears, like I have, so I thought, eh, no, yeah, I'll use this. This is pretty cool. I like this one. So, alright, so you take your clear case, and you're going to take the picture, and wherever you want it, you're going to put the case on the back of the picture, the side that you don't want. And when you find... You're gonna put, sorry, you're gonna put the case face down. So you're gonna put case face down on the top of the picture, like you want, like this. So here's the case. I'm just gonna lay it on top, and from the back, you're gonna push the picture into the case. So it's gonna look really wrinkled, and it's gonna look really like weird at first, you know. So I'm just gonna shove it in there a little bit. I'm just gonna get Okay, so once it's kind of in there, it doesn't have to be in there all the way, you're going to take your iPod and you're going to shove it on top between the paper and the case. And you're going to push it down into the case through the paper until it kind of makes an impression on the paper. And once you really get it into the case, you'll pretty much be able just to like pull away the excess from a, from the around the case. So that's what I'm gonna do. Okay. So you kinda have something that looks like this. It looks kinda really sloppy. There's like little pieces and stuff. Alright. But it looks like this. This is what it looks like. So you're just gonna clean it up on the outside. Just gonna kind of rip around the outside of your case so it's pretty much the same shape. It doesn't have to be perfect, you know, nobody really can tell unless you show them. Like, you can see a little bit. I'm just gonna really rip really close. Don't take it out and rip because then you might, like, rip into the picture, like, on the back. I did that on the first one. And then you have to make a new one, you know, and if you really like that picture, you might screw it up. So, you know, practice um, a few times with, uh, magazine papers that you don't like just so you get a feel of how to do it so you know when you're doing it with a good picture you don't ruin it and then just click your iPod in all the way and you're on your you're set to go really I mean you can do this with any magazine uh, any design, any color, you know I'm gonna put my other one back in because I like that one it has little ghosts on it, the one that I have um, but I mean, this is like really simple, and I mean, I know how much these cases cost, like, I just bought this one, and it's this little plastic thing with a screen cover for this iTouch, and it cost me like 30 bucks, and I know that a lot of people like to change up their style a lot, like, I always find myself wanting to change how I look or change the style, so I always, um, update my wardrobe with, like, fun colors and stuff, I shop at, like, thrift stores, and I go crazy, you know? So, I mean, this is something really simple to do that you can change your style up with whenever you want. I mean, you can even be in the car, like, going on a trip or whatever, or you're with friends and you see a magazine. Like, I know a lot of people just read magazines, like, I read magazines at work, and, you know, I'm, I get bored. So, I mean, you pull out some pictures you like from your magazines, and then you go home, or if, even if you have your iPod with you, like, just rip it out and do it right there. And, like, immediately you have a new case for your iPod that it suits your style however you feel that day like I feel like changing my iPod case every day from now on because this video is just so much fun to do. I, I love doing it it's 
it's like destructive and creative at the same time. I'm like getting all little pieces of the magazine everywhere. So, let's put my other one back in. So now, just uh, go express yourself, you know? Go try a few out and see how you like it. And you can do this with any iPod too. Uh, I did it with my video. I have a iPod video also, 30 gigs. And I had a clear case for that. Um, don't know where it is right now, I'd get it and use that one too, but kind of lost in translation. So, you know, anything will work, as long as it's a clear case, or even like a darker tinted case, as long as you use like brighter colors on the inside. I mean, anything as long as it's not solid. So, good luck YouTube. You know, go try it out. It's simple and fun. Alright. I'm gonna go see if I can upload my other videos because I'm waiting on those. Maybe I'll make another video while I wait. You never know, you might get lucky. See you around, YouTube.